hello boys and girls. Welcome to Art Project. Today we are going to be painting a rock. Seems simple enough. So if you want to paint a rock, the best thing that you can use is some acrylic paint, which you can pick up at any hobby store. And the thing about acrylic paint is you have to be really careful when you paint with it because it really lasts forever. So if you get it on your clothes, it's gonna be very, very hard to get off. So acrylic paint I love, but you have to be really careful that you don't get it on your clothes or on the sofa or anything like that. All right, so first you have to find yourself a rock. And then once you do, you can paint it any way you want. Now, I used to have my kids paint rocks and I still have some that I took out of my garden just now and I had to wash them a little but my kids painted these about 20 years ago that's how long they last now some of the paint has fallen off but they're still there so it does last a very very long time and you can paint them rainbow colors or just a simple color like this or you can make them into an animal this was made by my son gosh in 2000 21 years ago, he made a little ladybug out of a rock, and I had made, I had glued some Google eyes on those on the side of here for eyes, but they've since fallen off, but I can replace those. But see, still looks like a ladybug. So it's all kinds of fun things that you can do with your rock. I decided that I'm gonna make a turtle to show you. So I had to find kind of a rock that was, would look like a turtle shell. My daughter painted this for me just now, but I'll just show you how you would start it off. So you just, I use something as simple as like this, a foam brush. You can use uh, more fancy brushes, but you just gotta make sure when you're using acrylic paint that you wash them very carefully. So you can buy these for very cheap and then you can just throw them out when you are finished. So. Paint your rock any way you want. Um, my hands got a little dirty when I was painting because I flipped my rock over. So you just brush it smoothly. I wish I had some rubber gloves on now so I could show you, but I just pick it up once I work in the paint. Then I flip it over with my hands to the other side, do the bottom, and then I flip it back over and make sure the top is very nice. So you don't want any drips. I don't know how I can flip this without touching it. I don't usually mind getting dirty when I paint because it comes off your hands, but I have other details that I need to add so I can't get any on my hands right now. Let's see how well. Just make sure you cover the whole thing. And then flip it over to the side that you want to show. So that looks pretty good. I'll flip it over. Go, 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 go. All right, go over this so there's no drips on it. So just keep brushing, just keep brushing. And then you wait for it to dry. It doesn't take long. My daughter painted this about 45 minutes ago and it's good to go. So that is the one I am gonna use right now. Because this needs to dry. But soon, little turtle, you will have a friend. So, then I figured I'll add some pom-poms, maybe for the feet and for the head. Now this, I don't know if I would keep it outside in the garden. This is more of like a decoration for, for inside of your house if you're gonna add Google Eyes or Palm Pons, they are actually called, P-O-M-P-O-N-S. Um, so if you're gonna detail it with something like that, it's probably something that you could keep inside. If you just wanna paint it like this, put it in your garden. Mom or dad will love that, add some color. All right, so I'm gonna use a glue gun. It's not hot, it's a low temperature glue gun, but that'll make it stick on nice. But you can use regular glue as well. This is just faster for, for now. So I can show you real quick how that goes. Hold it for five seconds. That's gonna be the head. And then we need to add some glue on the sides. Boop, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. I love using glue guns because it sticks on right away. You don't have to wait for it to dry. Just gotta make sure you put your things on right away or it'll dry up. All right, last one. Now my turtle has four legs and a head. 
Okay, and then I'm just gonna add some eyes. I have some Google eyes. I'll glue those on, and he'll be good to go, my little turtle. And then I'll make a friend for him later. You could, I could have just used a smaller pom-pom for the head, but I decided a bigger head might be a little cuter. One eye. Good to go. He could be a gift. Extra glue off. All right, there he is. Hello. See? And I think just for fun, I'm going to add some eyes back on my ladybug as well. I'll renew that, show you what it looks like when that was all finished. So obviously, you would paint the rock red, and then you need some black for the head. the middle and then just some spots so there's two quick and easy things that you can make or as I said just paint it any way you'd like and throw it in your garden maybe put the date on the bottom so you can always remember or your parents can always remember when you make that so that was a lot of fun I'll see you next time